Hey guys, welcome to another Tutorial Thursday Titty. Today we're talking about how to improve your cinematography in post. Let's begin. So in the last titty, we were talking about how to make your dick size bigger in post, in Photoshop. Today we're going to use the same technique to improve our cinematography. A good cinematography is usually made on set with lighting, camera techniques and so on. Um, if we didn't do those things for some reason, there's a few things we can do in post, inside of Premiere to improve our, to improve our cinematography. For example, let, let, let's jump right in here. In my last short film, I have this one shot here where, uh, you know, there's this cat sitting on the floor and there's this big white wall and it could be worse, but there's this big white spot and I just don't like very much. So there's a few things we can do inside of Premiere to, to, to fix that. As you might remember, last week we used a very simple technique to make a penis appear. Um, we, we created that by the illusion having a shadow and the light. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, when you have your uh, pro project um, folder here on the left side, sometimes it's up here, it depends on your uh, setup, but in my case it's down here. So when you click on this thing, you create something, and then now you have different options. And the easiest one what uh, I want to try here today, just use black video. So those should be the same settings like you have in your sequence. Just click OK. Now we have this black video appear. And what it does when you just drag and drop it over your video, it just makes everything black. So now we can play around with that a little bit. So the first thing we do is just bring the opacity down to 50% so we actually see the, the actual video underneath. But keep in mind that the opacity is on 50% because we might want to change it later. Let's try to do something about this uh, white wall. So as you can see there is a shadow going on here. So this makes the shot a, a lot more interesting already. This shadow, uh, when it comes to shadows and lights, it always has to make sense, okay? There is always, if you have a video, there's always certain light sources. For example, um, because I know I shot it, there's a light source right here. Somewhere here there's a big window. This is one light source and this window is the light source. So um, this shadow probably comes from this light source but we don't have a shadow from this light source which physically makes sense because this is how we shot it but we can just add a light source or add a shadow just to make it more interesting. So what I'm, I'm gonna do is uh, I have this black video and I just use let's say the free draw easier and now I can draw my own shadow so the light source comes from here I just go in a straight line bam start here and do like a very round thing bam bam so now I have a shadow this is what it looks like right now pretty terrible but uh, if we just go to the effect controls we have the mask one this is what we just drew and this is the feather button. When we just feather it a little bit and go back here, this looks already way better. So now we can just adjust our mask uh, the way we want it so it'll, it looks better. So let's do this. So now we have like this shadow here which makes this blank white wall as it was before just a little more contrasty and contrasty looks good on camera. So we have this little thing now, and this is pretty cool. And um, we can just add another one. Let's say on this light here on the left, let's say there was some something blocking from the outside. Let's say a tree or so. So now we go back to black video, and we um, just draw another one. Um, this one uh, disappeared because I'm drawing another mask. And let's say just something funny, blah blah blah. Doesn't, doesn't have to make sense. Um, bam. Okay, we feather that as well. The more the better, but it always depends 
um, how much you feather something always depends on how far is the light source away, uh, how hard is uh, the light source. For example, a window has a pretty soft light, but for example, if you have a, uh, a spotlight, like um, here behind me, there's uh, a light source, you know, so this is a little more harsh, you know. So it always depends on the light source. Uh, how hard the shadow is like for example if i made the same shadow uh, let's say here it would be a little more harsh the shadow would be harder because the light source is closer to the actual object um here this object there is no object obviously but if that there, there was an object it's like outside the window it's very far away so this is why in reality there is no shadow but we just put a shadow on it just to make the shot more interesting we don't, we don't want to uh, distract from what is actually happening. We don't want like putting smiles or whatever on it because what's actually important is this cat right now. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my short film, uh, but this cat is very important for this short film. I think we can do one more. For example, sometimes it's even nice to increase shadows, like shadows which already exist. For example, this light throws uh, a light in, on here. So you see like this is like circle, circle shaped because this is a circle. So the, the sunlight uh, basically blasts through this and throws like a very soft light on here. But we can imp uh, increase this shadow here with the same layer. So I click on it again and what I do is I just draw another shadow. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, this one has to be like, uh, what is it called, inverted, but I don't want to make it too complicated for you, so I don't invert them as I just draw it this way. And again, this one has to be very feathered again. So, let's check it before after. Nice. Just for argument's sake, let's do one more. Same light source throws the light on here but let's make a little black shadow there you go and again feather never forget to feather because if we don't feather a mask it's it's gonna look terrible uh, let's let's uh, show you an example. Let's unfeather one of those masks. Which one is it? Let's do this one. Unfeather. This is what it would look like if it's not feathered, and uh, you don't want that. So feather, feather, feather the shit out of it. So it's like almost not there anymore. And in the in the end, this is the difference. But you also can play uh, with the blending modes. So when you click on this thing and increase the opacity back to 100%, remember we uh, decrease the, the opacity. If we can, you go back to 100%, this is what it lo would look like. Also pretty terrible. But then we can go to the blending modes. Um, for, sh for shadows, what always uh, works good is like soft light, works works fine because when you use blending modes your layer in the black video uh, fades better in your real environment so uh, don't just play with the opacity only also do the blending modes in soft light in that case works best but play around it's like always depends if you play with light sources it should be like add or lighten or something like that if it's with shadows uh, with multiply could work but it's just a black video so soft light works well here and then I go back to the opacity, go down until we almost don't see it anymore. So, this is our before after. I know this is not life changing stuff here. It's just, in my opinion, it improves the cinematography a little bit because by increasing a few shadows or creating a few shadows, this boring white wall is not boring white anymore there's more stuff going on and to do those things on set sometimes takes longer than doing that in post but keep in mind there's a very important thing to remember it's 
a lot easier with this shot because it's on a tripod. There's nothing moving. So it's easier on that one compared to something when it's like handheld or like a move around shot because then it gets very complicated because then you have to track the entire footage and this is uh, a topic for another video but this is way more work so if you have a tripod shot and you just want to improve a few details this is the way to go and I hope that was clear if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and See you in the next TD, Tutorial Thursday.